So this is a patient who has had the most severe forms of hidradenitis suprativa. I've done nearly 40 surgeries on him. He now has no pain and only an occasional need for surgery. And we've eliminated 99% of his HIPS abscesses. The patient you're going to see now has had hidradenitis of the scrotum, which involved elephantiasis of the scrotum because of the chronic inflammation and persistent pain and drainage. Surgeries with skin graft, etc., were only temporary fixes and not often successful. This technique uses tumescent epinephrine, lidocaine, ertapenem, trimcinolone, and sodium bicarbonate. After a number of surgeries using this technique, his scrotum has decreased in size by over 60% and his pain level is now close to zero. Once in a while he'll have a recurrence and what I'll show you today is a small recurrence that he had and this is an acute event. He had no pain a week ago and then all of a sudden the, this abscess showed up and progressed extremely rapidly. So I'll show you the excision of this using tumescent epinephrine lidocaine or tapenum. This is a, an acute onset, severely painful, deeply penetrating HS abscess involving the scrotum and inguinal area. This has been present for less than five days. Obviously the scrotum is a very sensitive area. This is a 32 gauge needle four millimeters long to gently infiltrate this lesion and deliver the local anesthesia painlessly. It's a very sensitive area so it requires a slow, deliberate, careful infiltration. He feels no significant pain and we're getting great hemostasis. After the local anesthesia, we use a large punch biopsy, six millimeter, to open this abscess. There's zero pain and very little bleeding. But you'll see the copious amount of pus and blood clot that are contained in this acute abscess. Now I'm probing the abscess with a blade guide see and measure its extent you can see the purulence this is all painless with, with minimal bleeding once I just define the extent of the lesion I can open the lesion unroof the lesion and expose the depth and and clean out all residual blood clot during the procedure I can add more local anesthesia if there's any evidence of discomfort or bleeding. You know, I'm using the tumescent infiltration pump to gently infiltrate the periphery as well as the deep portion of the abscess. Prior to incising the roof of the abscess, I inject additional tumescent anesthesia superficially into the dermis along the path of the blade. You can see the blanching and the tumescence of the dermis. This is all painless. This will allow an incision that is also bloodless. Now I'm using a blade guide to help open the roof of the abscess. So it's painless and virtually bloodless incision. Now I can start to unroof the lesion in a painless, bloodless fashion. After opening up the lesion, now I can ex easily express the blood clots that are there. And now we clean up the remaining contents of the abscess. Now I'm adding some more local anesthesia. This is deep enough that he's feeling some discomfort. By the way, he has a very low pain threshold. So I'm getting more tumescent anesthesia before I proceed to do anything else. We've finished unroofing this, but there is one middle area where there's bleeding, so I simply add more tumescent anesthesia. The compression as well as the vasoconstriction allows he, good hemostasis. Postoperative care is going to include a cyst bath in a dilute Clorox solution because it's so close to his anus and he'll wash this similarly after each defecation and then apply gentamicin ointment four times daily. So this patient has had very severe scrotal hidradenitis suprativa for many years. We've treated it today a very acute abscess. It was only there for five days and it progressed rapidly. We used tumescent epinephrine, lidocaine, ertapenem, and triamcinolone local anesthesia to treat this and give anesthesia and vasoconstriction.